the vulnerability of the sacred and immaculate heart. Now, when we see pictures of the sacred heart of Jesus, the immaculate heart of Mary, what do we notice? We notice that the heart of Jesus is exposed. Not only is it exposed, but Jesus holds his heart in his hand. We have a God who cares about our heart and tells us to guard our hearts because everything we do flows from it. But here is our God holding his heart in his hand exposed. That's very vulnerable. There's great vulnerability to the sacred heart and the immaculate heart. God is saying, here is my heart. I'm exposing it to you. He's offering his heart to us. And what do we do with his heart? Sin breaks God's heart. So God is giving us his heart freely for us to love his heart, cherish his heart, obey him, befriend him, follow him. And when we sin, we are breaking God's heart. God cares about us enough to tell us to guard our own hearts, but yet here he is holding his heart exposed. And same with our Blessed Mother and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. We always see the hearts of Jesus and Mary exposed. It's vulnerable. God is showing us that he's vulnerable. He's willing to give his heart to us. He's willing to be hurt by us because what did our sin do to God? It nailed him on the cross. God loves us to the point of being so vulnerable and giving his heart exposed fully to us. And we have to reflect and ask ourselves, am I cherishing the sacred heart of Jesus? Do I cherish the immaculate heart of Mary? Am I taking care of their hearts? Here is God freely giving us his heart, saying, here's my heart, take it. What are we doing with it? What are we doing with the sacred heart? God offers us his heart. Are we protecting it? Are we taking care of it? We like to take care of the hearts of the people around us. We like to make sure everybody's okay, everybody's good, everybody feels loved. So we should be more so than anybody that we know, wanting to take care of God's heart, wanting to make sure God knows how much we love him, how much we want to take care of him, and how much we want to obey him. Because God is freely giving us his heart in this vulnerable state, showing us his heart exposed and saying, here's my heart and being so vulnerable. And, and it's the sacred heart. It's not just any heart. It's sacred. Appreciate the gift of God's heart and nurture it. And we have to care for it. And sin breaks God's heart. So we have to do our best to really show God that we appreciate his heart. We appreciate his vulnerability. We appreciate him for giving us his heart and exposing his heart to us. And same with his mother. We want to obey her and love her. And so the first Friday and first Saturday devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary that we're supposed to do in reparation for all the offenses committed against the Sacred and Immaculate Heart. If you don't do this devotion, I highly recommend it. It's every first Friday for the Sacred Heart of Jesus and every first Saturday of the month for the Immaculate Heart of Mary. It's a great way to make reparation for the sins that you've committed and the sins that other people commit against the Sacred and Immaculate Heart. We need to show Jesus and his mother that we care about their hearts and we wanna protect them. They expose their hearts to us freely, vulnerably, as a, as a gift. And we need to nurture and cherish this gift of the Sacred and Immaculate Heart. Thank you so much for tuning into this week's episode of Purpose for Paradise. I'm Elena Sapphire. Thank you for watching. God bless.